Hi everyone, so this video is only for those electrical and instrumentation students who are appearing for EC exam as their secondary examination. So you guys are done with your primary examination, electrical and instrumentation. Now for EC, there are 15 days left. So, so what you can do in the given time. So for that, I'm making this video. Now your examination is done for electrical examination is done. Your uh, for instrumentation also examination is done. So now you don't need to think much about that examination. Whatever the way you have performed, you have performed. Now you have another examination that is going to take place on 15th of Feb. You can do very well in that particular examination. Now the thing is you are done with seven non core subjects, core subjects, EMFT, communication and EDC. You don't know at all. So different strategies I'm going to tell. Now first strategy is you need to do all those seven core subjects, you need to do the revision of all those seven known core subject. Okay, network, analog, digital, signals, control, mathematics and aptitude. Do the complete revision, whatever that you have studied. If you feel like that, I, I don't want to revise from the notes, the notes I have revised a lot of times, so you can do the problems. If you feel like that you have done all the PYQs, then you can go to the test series. If you feel like that I have done all the test series, then you can go to the FYQ series that we have wrote on YouTube. Okay, because in EC question paper, what happens is that generally EC is on tougher side only. If you see the trend of previous five to six years or seven years, EC question paper is always on the tougher side. So believe me guys, even if you do those seven subjects well, and if you are able to attempt 80% of the problems from those seven subjects correctly, then you will do very, very well. I will give you an example. There was one of my batchmate last year who was a electrical aspirant only, but uh, he ha he prepared those seven non core subjects in a very good manner. He went for EC examination and he got uh, roughly around 70 rank in EC being an electrical aspirant. And he did not even attempt a single question from core subjects, EDC, communication and EMFT. He was uh, getting roughly around, he got roughly around 70 rank. Okay. So that is the impact because in EC, like uh, from uh, 70 to 75 marks, at least minimum 70 marks will be containing the non core part. From those seven subjects only, at least 70 marks question will come. And in EC, if you get, uh, like going by the previous year trends, in EC, if you get 60 marks, then under 100 is sure. Now your target should be not under 100. Your target should be doing very well in EC examination. Because if you get under 1000 rank in EC, then there is a very high chance that you will get a seat in VLSI in IITs. Under 1000 rank. So you need under 1000 rank. Worst case, you need under 1000 rank. And that is certainly achievable considering that I hope the question paper will be from moderate to tougher side because if it comes easy let's just say if they are asking easy questions from the core part from communication EMFT and EDC then that will be a, a negative impact for you guys because you guys have not studied those core subjects but mostly it is seen that those questions are on the tougher side as well even the core part non-core part question are also on moderate to tougher side okay so you can have enough motivation for the upcoming examination as well. If you have done an analog electronics, digital electronics, network analysis, uh, signal system and uh, control system on a very good level, not only on surface level. Now you might be demotivated that sir, I studied digital electronics in a very good manner, but in the examination, there was only one question. I studied analog electronics in a very good manner, but in both instrumentation and uh, uh, electrical examination, there were only straightforward questions. Signals was asked on a good level and uh, control system was also asked on, uh, on a good level network analysis was on a decent level so you might be feeling demotivated that said we studied so much but they are not asking such a good questions like they are asking straightforward questions only but uh, in ec like uh, if we go by the trend they ask the questions from moderate to tougher side so your knowledge that you have gained that can be used in the ec examination so be confident with those seven subjects, uh, do everything, do PYQs, revise the notes, uh, write down the test series. And if you are done with the test series, you can do go with the FYQ series. If you are done with FYQ series as well, FYQ series, future year question series that we are running on YouTube. We have provided those six subjects. We did not provide signal system apart from signal system. All the questions are all the questions are there from uh, all the subjects like there are very good quality problems okay these, these are not straightforward pyqs or anything like that there are very good quality problems which you can solve and your concepts will certainly enhance that i can guarantee you one video you will watch and you will get to know there are a lot of new things you are learning or even if you have studied and everything still you will be learning that concept in a better manner so you can go and watch those videos okay and now if you are done with everything you feel like that sir i have studied my non-core subjects in a very good manner now i don't think i will be learning anything new 
so that is the case i guess that will be the case for hardly four to five students if you are someone who feels like that sir i have studied everything no now i am not learning anything new in those non core subjects then what you can do you can get started with edc now why i am saying so which subject i am saying edc if you are done with everything okay but that will be the possibility very very rare possibility hardly there will be four to five students who will be done with everything okay so if you are done with everything if you feel like that i have done the fiq as well sir i am able to solve the problems there i am very much confident confident with my non core part so now you can get started with edc now why you should be getting started with edc because this edc will help you in the interviews as well no matter whether you are from electrical for ec if you are going for vlsi interviews then edc might help you there and secondly in edc first chapter is basic semiconductor physics and second chapter is pn junction diode so in edc if they are asking five questions then two to three questions will be there from that particular from those two particular chapter only so first two two chapters are very important along with that it will help you in the interview as well so in edc first two chapters are very important and in the meantime if you are confident with everything in the meantime you will be able to complete those two chapters as well so it might happen that it when it will like it can help you in the ec examination as well that is a very rare possibility i am saying that if you are completely confident then only you should go to the edc like there might be three to four guys who feel like that sir we are not learning anything new in the non core part now i want to study something else i have done my electrical paper because if you are confident in non core part that means you have done uh, electrical paper in a very good manner as well right so you feel like that you have done enough now you do not need now you want to learn something new so if you feel like that you have done some uh, everything and you want to learn something new then that is the thing that you can learn as an electrical student the thing is you can learn edc because it is going to help you in the examination as well along with that it can help you in ec question paper as well so from where you can study you can study from anywhere on youtube there are good educators all the gate educators are good who teaches edc i have full respect for all the educators and uh, so from there you can study or from npital if you want to refer then uh, like professor digvijay playlist is there he is from isc isc digvijay professor edc course you can type that thing and it will come to your playlist that playlist you can watch for edc so that is my recommendation for electrical and instrumentation aspirants who are going for ec as their secondary subject so you can get your confidence high you can have your confidence high you can certainly do very well in the ec examination so the examples i have given there was one guy who did not even attempt a single question from the core part still he got under 100 rank so your target should not be under 100 rank your target should be getting a rank under 1000 okay yeah so certainly that is achievable any day that rank is achievable for you yeah Thank you very much if you are having any other query any other doubt you can write down in the comment section i will try to make a video or will try to answer in the comment section only thank you very much